don't go to the Philippines. It's dangerous. Are you getting a mail order bride, a young mail order bride? Watch out for the lady boys. The food is terrible. And it's a poor country with no modern conveniences. <laughs> okay. This is all false. But these are the things that people will say to you when you decide to get on that plane and travel to the Philippines. And especially after you've already been there and you're going back. Now, let's, uh, let's unpack these things and talk about it. I have had a lot of trolls and I use the word trolls to be someone that maybe disparages you for trying something different or you know when you start talking about going to Southeast Asia these are the things that you're gonna hear what the first thing about, okay let's unpack all this and talk about it it's dangerous you're gonna get robbed someone's gonna you know kidnap you um, I disagree I think that anywhere in the world you you need to be cautious about your surroundings but the Philippines just in my humble opinion is not a dangerous place it's not a place that you got to worry about your safety now there are areas and places that you can go and things happen but not once in my experience have I felt threatened worried for my safety I'm more worried about my safety here in my home country and this is a beautiful place I'll just take a little pan here look at this place it, it is beautiful but you know what I hear gunshots in my own neighborhood and I'm more worried about my safety here than I am in the Philippines that's just fact and there are a lot of trolls out there and sometimes the trolls are your family sometimes the trolls are your friends your so-called friends and maybe when you start talking about trying to live a different life and get outside of your comfort zone to try something different people start talking their smack I'm sure I could find dangerous situations there in the cities or especially if I'm in areas and bars with foreigners um, and I'm drinking and you know doing stupid stuff but that's the same anywhere in the world but the big one I get all the time is are you getting a young mail order bride and do not bring her back to the US this is really hilarious to me um, <laughs> so many men and women over here always want to throw this BS flag out to me and here's the deal in Southeast Asia and especially the Philippines I'm no expert but I will say that there are quality relationships there um, <laughs> my opportunities for a relationship a quality relationship a loving relationship are so much higher in the Philippines than they are in my own country. I mean, I make a great living. I really do. I own my own home. I'm a nice guy. And women don't want me here. And if they do, they just want too much drama. 
Um, and that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But, you know, these women in the Philippines, I pretty much decided that I wanted an educated person. Um, and my current girlfriend has an engineering degree. She's very smart. She's very loving, very caring. And we will see how this goes, but I would never get that in this country. At 52 years old, I have no interest in dating a 52 year old woman in this country with her problems, her kids, her ex, all that crap. It's just not something I'm willing to put myself through. And this is a big one for me because my last relationship here almost took me down. It was so disparaging to me and emotional trauma that the best day of my life, honestly, is when I decided that I would no longer date white women or American women. And, you know, I, I know this is probably going to offend women here but I'm telling you I am completely done I will never date another white woman in this country again it's just too much drama too much BS and I don't need it in my life I'm a simple man I'm a kind man and I don't have value in this country and that's okay because I found a place where I am high value, where I am appreciated. And that's the Philippines. I was talking to a coworker the other day and he said, I mean, cause guys come up to me all the time in my industry and now they know what I'm trying to do. And they ask me about the Philippines and this and that and he says I mean I see it he's super depressed he said he wanted to divorce his wife because there's no love in that relationship but the only thing that kept him in that marriage was his child I said wow man that's that's really sad and he says yeah I'm gonna divorce her but I have to wait until my son is old enough and I said, well, how long is that going to be? He said, about seven to eight years. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. I, would, I mean, that sounds like a prison sentence. And there's a lot of men in this country that are with women, and they're not happy. They're in unfulfilled relationships. They're miserable. They're grinding away. Um, paying for the American dream which is just materialism and I could make a whole nother video on this topic but I'm going to try to stay on point here so I'm looking at my list so another thing that people will say to me is when I talk about the Philippines watch out for the lady boys it's like, <laughs> that is comical from someone that's never left the country. Yes, there are lady boys in the Philippines. But if you can't spot a lady boy in the Philippines, you need to make an optometrist appointment. Maybe from 50 feet. <laughs> they might look like a woman, but as you get closer to that person... It's a man. So I just find that hilarious. I, you know, like people watch too much freaking TV, too many movies. Watch out for the lady boys. It's the dumb. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna edit that out. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> so then another one I get is the food is terrible in the Philippines. Well, I think the food is wonderful in the Philippines. That's just me. 
have a 90% plant diet and in the Philippines all the produce is fresh there's no pesticides there's no um, genetically modified uh, you know produce like we have here in this country and I had someone tell me before my trip to the Philippines my first trip because at that point I was pretty much 100% vegan they're like oh, you're not gonna be able to eat a vegan lifestyle in the Philippines well that is preposterous you can get fresh vegetables and produce and the food is wonderful i have adopted more of a i really don't eat red meat or meat um i eat more seafood now and vegetables and in the philippines that's pretty much the staple seafood and vegetables so moving along here now the last one is everyone is poor in the philippines and it's a third world country and i cannot get modern conveniences well that's just false you can have anything you want in the philippines you can live a modern lifestyle or you can live a simple life in cebu city there are condos that are two hundred thousand dollars there's places that you can live that are opulent i mean my home here is right off of this beach this beautiful beach about two plots i can see the water from my front yard and there's places in the philippines that are way nicer than the house i have and there's a lot of money in the Philippines. Now, there is a lot of poverty in the Philippines, too. But I'll tell you this. Most people in this country, if you challenge them and said, I'll give you $10 if you can just point out the Philippines on a map, they couldn't do it. They have no clue. And I was there, too. I've, and so... I was that kid that was spinning that globe and saying, I want to travel here. I'll tell you this little story. When I was in Cebu City um, back in January, I'm sitting at this bar near Mango Square. And I'm just sitting there having a cold Sam Mig and some wonderful Filipino food. And I hear these two cars racing down the street in front of me. One was a Lamborghini, brand new. And one was an older Porsche 911. <laughs> They're racing down the road. And I couldn't tell who was driving both vehicles, but the Lamborghini, it looked like it was being driven by a Filipino young guy. Like you could tell he was probably in his 20s. And that was something shocking to me. And as I spent a little more time in Cebu City, I realized how much money is there. Um, and even when I got down in the province, I would see Raptors, Ford Raptors, which are about $80,000 trucks driven by young kids. I'm in Mobile, which is a, a town a dive uh, community in southern Cebu and I'm sitting at 7-Eleven and I literally see a brand new Raptor R. Now those are the souped up Raptors that they're over $100,000 in the United States. And like a kid gets out of that thing that's, he looks like he's 16. And, and this is a commonplace. So the Philippines is not a poor country there are a lot of people that are poor in the philippines just like there's a lot of people that are poor in the united states 
but it's not a poor country. It's a, you know, I like to consider it a developing country, but you can have everything you want in the Philippines. Now with uh, Starlink internet, which is a uh, Elon Musk company, they sell it in the Philippines and you can have high-speed internet anywhere you want and it's relatively inexpensive so for a guy like me I don't care about TV or you know Netflix or any of that crap but I do need high-speed internet I can live anywhere and really that's all I need and yes there are they call them brownouts in the Philippines we call them blackouts here um, they happen from time to time but you can have a battery backup that'll run your computer your modem your Starlink or you can have a generator and it's not a big deal I was talking to a friend today and I just told him I'm like you know what like I'll I'm willing to give up everything over here for that little slice of paradise that I can have in the Philippines um, I know that I can have a better life and a better lifestyle for myself in the Philippines than I can here and so that is what I plan on doing because even if I have to come back to this country a couple of months out of the year, make some money, go back to the Philippines, I can have a better lifestyle than I do here. Now, don't get me wrong. Look at this place. It's freaking beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I own a home two blocks away from where we're sitting right now. And if I sit in my front yard, I can see the water. Okay, so I feel a little fortunate, you know, for that, but I'm alone. I'm alone, and I choose to be alone here because I don't want to deal with the drama um, that I have had in the past with American women. Talking from the heart, I get it, but <laughs> if most men in my position knew what I know um, I think they might change their whole perspective on what life is about I'm 52 years old um, I'm alone in this country and I'm tired of that but I know a place where I don't have to be alone I've got a great girlfriend she's smart she is not you know one of these wallflowers she's got a degree in engineering a good head on her shoulders and someone that can help me build wealth and so you know I, I had a comment a while back on one of my videos talking about you know the whole passport bros and YouTube actually took the comment out but I was able to read it and it was like, you're going over there taking advantage of these poor women, these uneducated women. No, that's preposterous. Um, my girlfriend is very smart, she's educated, and she cares about me. And we'll see how things go. But I can tell you right now that uh, I would much rather be in that position um, than to be over here on these freaking dating sites and this BS um, that men put up with over here. Because, you know, guys, gals, you don't have to do it. And this uh, daily grind and this, you know, keeping up with the Joneses type crap over here, you don't have to do that. Because right now, um, I make a really good living. I really do. Um, a very good living. But I'm willing to 
give all that up and even on half or a third of what my income is right now I can live a great life in the Philippines and I hope this little YouTube channel grows um, this is a hobby for me and you know one day in the future when I'm getting old I'm sitting on my porch of that house that I built in the Philippines and I can look back on the videos that I've made hey, it's worth it appreciate everyone for your support for my channel my little channel that is growing and you know I'm not a mentor I'm not trying to save the world but hey if my little videos reach out to one person out there and just give you an idea that there is a different life that you can achieve away from this chaos in this country well then it's worth it because there's places in the world that you can live on a lot less and be happy I really think that um, in my heart of hearts I just think that so my advice take it or leave it if you're unhappy here if you're sitting at home alone petting your Labrador and thinking about a different lifestyle Get out of your comfort zone. Get on Google Travel. Look at a plane ticket. Go somewhere. Whether it's the Philippines or whether it's Thailand or Cambodia or Indonesia. There's places in this world where you are high value. Let's just say that. You're not going to have a problem meeting a, a wonderful kind woman in Southeast Asia you're not just put yourself out there you don't have to play these games uh, over here all you have to do is show up and not be a jerk you show up and not be a jerk and say hello to someone I promise you that you will eventually find someone that cares about you treats you well and at a fraction of the cost and the hassle that you'll encounter in this country and again i you know i love my country um i really do i just don't like the culture here anymore um, and if that makes me a bad person again you think i'm whatever I don't think I'm the only one. I think there's a lot of people in this country that are just grinding away and they're unhappy. But I'm a simple man. And really all I need is this, you know? Salt water, beautiful nature. But I need a woman in my life and that's not happening here. Um, but I can have that in the Philippines. So, thanks for listening to my ramble. Put these videos out here as self-reflection. And if it helps one person, great. I've done my job and I would love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are. Um, you know challenge me on the things I'm saying here because I you know I'm not an expert I'm just a guy that has a passion about having a better life and I know that better life for me is in the Philippines and not here stay positive dream big 
and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for all my subscribers. Uh, the channel is growing and I really appreciate that so much. This just gives me an opportunity to get things off my mind and um, in the future. I got so many things I want to do with this channel. I'll be back in the Philippines in just a few weeks and I just can't wait to show uh, everyone how beautiful uh, the Philippines is and how beautiful the Philippine culture is and people are. So thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.